Hello guys, welcome back to Cassette Confessions. Uh, today we're looking at my bumper, The Wind in the Willows, Fallen Games from 997. This is actually a, uh, a very interesting VHS to obtain actually in the collection. Well, not really obtained, I had it for years. Probably since when it first released actually, back in the spring of 97, or the late spring actually, to be honest. And it's a, it's a very interesting gem. That is actually, to be honest, because Let's go through this. So, The Winter of the Wheels, of course, infamous, famous TV show done by Cosgrove Hall. Um, I think in terms of Cosgrove Hall shows that are fondly remembered, you know, people still remember Cal uh, Danger Mouse and Count Dukla, of course. You know, and... Uh, well, those ones, when people think of Cosgrove Hall, they think of that, them two shows. But other, other people think of Winter of the Willows. Fantastic. Brilliant stop motion animation. Brilliant writing by Rosemary Sisson and Brian Truman. And fantastic directors, of course, with the likes of, you know, Barry Purvis, Francis Vose, Jackie Cockle, Chris Taylor. This goes on with that one. Um, brilliant animators, of course, the like great Paul Berry, who worked on Night Before Christmas, uh, CPU, um, Marge Graham, Monica McCartney. The brilliant voice acting, of course, Sir David Jason, Peter Salis. Richard Pearson, Sir Michael Horden, and Ian Carmichael, and the, and the others including, you know, G Jimmy Hibbert, Brian Southend, um, Daphne Oxford, if, that, if, that's an, if that's a name, Daphne o Oxford. A yeah, very strong, um, strong writing, great voice, voice cast, you know, in, you know, brilliant production, of course. So, this video itself. This video uh, came out in i7, it's part of a bumper range actually, only three VHSs. Uh, the other two were sooty ones, um, Little Shop of Mischief and My Bumper Christmas Sooty, all released in i7, they were, uh, sporadically I think. Uh, I think Shop of Mischief came first and Funny Games came next, and then uh, Christmas Sooty came out last in October, whereas I think these, one, these first two came out in, in the spring, they did. Um, it's interesting because it's one of the few titles that was released on the um, VCI banner, very much on the ident in those days, actually. There's, there's only four VHSs released, which VCI actually um, released at the time, of course, um, and they're actually very hard to find. They're very, they are very, you know, come, hard to come across on the Amazon, eBay, second-hand stuff, really. You know, it's very, some, you know, do charge for high, well, not really high prices, but you just can't really see them on listings on the internet these days, or on a card boot sale. Maybe the a card boot sale, but maybe not anywhere else, because they're very sought after. There's only four they actually released, which was, um, I'll go through them naturally. Uh, the first one being Automatic, uh, Automatics from September 95. So that's the transition period between the video collection and, the v and VCI at the time. Um, then you got this one, Fun and Games, that was released the next. Then you got a reissue of Summer Escapades that was released, uh, strange enough, in in um, like October, like in, all, in autumn, which I believe it on i7. Very good artwork as well, actually, and um, really good. I wasn't, I was full. I thought it'd be the same thing as that PT video release, but I was proven absolutely wrong. It was blue. Had an, it has one of those. It has that reverse. It has that cover on with the with the four characters. You know, like um, linking arms together. That's sort of like an iconic picture, very much in that one. For to represent Wind and Willows, and it was actually I think it's flipped. It was, and yeah, pretty interesting. It does fit, it does cover it with um, some sunflowers and everything else, but very interesting. The artwork's quite very interesting, but quite nice. And then finally is the double box set, the Four Seasons, which basically has four episodes on two each tapes, featuring FL Sam, which had May Day. Grand Daniel Show, uh, The Har Harvest, and Winter Sports. Um, bit of a strange release, actually, considering that's one of the last uh, videos released under, well, the Thames and Video Collection entirely, actually, believe it or not. Then afterwards, you have the PT video releases, and that was it, really, to be honest. So it was interesting because uh, Winter Wheels, of course, was still carrying on with the VHS release, of course. Uh, but by the late 90s, of course, it was sort of roughly dry enough, of course. But by two, you know, some, towards the turn of the 21st century, it was sort of drying up slightly, it was. So the actual tape itself, we have five episodes, um, mainly from Series 3 and Series 4. Um, and yes, so that's really that's really the basis about it, about it really. Um, so we open with, well, there's two different versions there is. I don't know which version I've got. I can't really recall which one it is. Uh, there's the original version, version 1, which has the 96 promo in it, which VCI released. That included, like, Thomas Nash and Friends, Four Weeks Farm. 
what else was there? Sutty and Co, then what else? Rosie and Jim, of course, and Tots TV, and Sky Dancers and Dragonflies for some reason, which is like a French production, uh, Gourmand, I think it's uh, company's called. And then afterwards we get the Thames VH, uh, VHS logo, which I do like actually. I mean, the Thames video logo is, in is interesting. It uses the theme from, um, or like a rendition of the, of the, of the Thames television f um, theme I did from 1992, a bit of an interesting rendition, but it's nice actually. It gives a more grander scale, it does. And it's like very kaleidoscopic and interesting. That's good. That's about it really. And the second version just features, you know, uh, you know, has no promo on at all actually, so fair enough. So let's go for the episode. So first up we've got is Mercury and the Mole Bicycle. This is from Series 3, the second episode of Series 3. Uh, this originally came from a dull box set, which was, uh, the was it, Mis the Infus Infusastic, oh, excuse me, Infusastic Mr. Toad and O, and o Toad from 87, which is part of a double pack, which the video collection did, but I think it's called Video Video at the time. Um, it's, a favorite, it's one of my favorite episodes of all time. I do rank it as number one, absolute best episode, mainly because it's the first one I ever saw. Um, I saw uh, it first on children's political favourites. A bit more about the information about that excerpt, actually. It starts at the beginning. Well, it starts as normal, as a normal episode, of course. The problem is, uh, this bugs me slightly, because I remember re-watching re -watching that uh, place called favourites, that excerpt. Um, it cuts out the title card of making the motorbicycle. It all gives you a little quick fan and goes, and it cuts into the music and stuff like that. Uh, how it ends is um, rat and mole fish out Billy Rabbit out of the canal when the weasel still toads, prize and motor bicycle, and you know, and they basically say we. I think we better tell Budge and tell and you know and um, bring Billy back to his mum and dad, and that's really that's, and that's how the that excerpt ended. That's how the vi that's how the video ended. Uh, Play school fair was finished, so it's a bit strange really. But watching it now, I do still enjoy it. It's fantastic. There's a bit of toad I find is quite stri well. I was quite taken aback when I actually rewatched it now and again. Really, it's still a good one. It's when he friends that weasel with a golf club and said, D "You know, do you want to live and stuff like that." It's a bit. I was quite taken aback by it, but it was quite a bit strange really. A bit strange experience actually seeing that for the you know for the first time. I don't remember actually. The VHS itself, I might have seen it once, maybe once, many years ago, I think during Christmas time actually, in either in like the early, early 2000s or late, or 1999 or something. I remember because it was Christmas time, we were putting Christmas decorations up for some reason, I decided to put it on. All I can remember was the Thames video logo, and that was really about it. I might have watched it all the way through, or maybe watched the first episode, and maybe you just st stopped. I have no idea, my memory's not. Uh, so, Mega Motorbicycle is a great one, actually. I really, it def well, it's a good one. Fantastic. My introduction to, David, to Sir David Jason, Pierce Salas, and the rest of Sir Michael Holden, because I didn't watch Pinton maybe a few years later when he was repeated on television. Um, yes, so I really enjoy that one. Next up we've got his champion the Green Base. This is the penultimate episode of series three, episode twelve, taken from again from the enthusiastic and almost toad old o toad box set from eighty seven. Um, I really do like this one because I find it very amusing that they focus on the episode doing toad doing billets or snooker. Interesting, you know. It's like what sort of uh, I think because Truman was thinking like, what else can he do? And what type of I what, what was around at that time? Of course, he had to must do a lot of research during those episodes, really. And you know, but I really it's a good one actually. I do enjoy it. I'd probably say it's the you know if I, if I had to point in the top ten, I probably have to point it down below. Um, nothing really expect nothing really new. It's just like you know, Toad Toad and the Weasels fight. You know, going off again game of snooker. Badger intervenes, of course. Kind well, kindly intervenes and wins about Toad Hall. No, actually, it's car. No, it's his car actually. I forgot. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. um, what else? So that's really, that's good. And next up we've got is the tournament. Now this is actually, this originally came from a children uh, compilation. Uh, summer stories, children's summer stories, or more summer stories, depends on that one. I think summer stories actually. Correct me if I'm wrong, I know Baz Bant and I three will, will comment down below and probably correct me on a few different bits and pieces with video history of Wind of the Willows. That's fanatics for you, of course. Um, so I do enjoy this one. It's a bit, it's very amusing that Toad uses his motor bicycle as a, as a horse, whereas the Weasels uses their handcart, of course. Um, but I really think it's funny, interesting, good bit of humour. You know, it's still funny, really. Still good. Um, 
Yeah, so it's another gun. And again, if I had to do a top ten, they're, they're probably, all these will be, will be in anyway. So then we've got hot. Then we've got hot hair. Um, originally from a watch and play VHS, which was with School Days from 1988, I believe. Um, watch and play. They had like um, you used to do these coloring packs and stuff, and, and you have like, is it pen, crayons or felt tip pencils back in those days? Um, obviously, obviously, you know it's quite sought after. You only get it singly on eBay and stuff like that. You don't get anything like that, like, like has they ever been untouched from a factory or something, unfortunately. But it's a good one actually, I like Hot Air because it's fun, it's interesting, it goes for the railway problem and takes it like an interesting, interesting bit. Of course, like Toad uses uses it, you know, just to do high fly and go high in the air. Badger's idea is just to, follow, you know, take some photographs you know, of the railway pro progression through the wood and everything else. So it's been interesting. And Mole chasing after Toad in, in one of his motor cars, which is interesting. And the end bit is hilarious. Like he's so well because he, he tricks uh, Badger, Ratty and Toad that he thinks he, he just becomes like Toad, of course. Like he's totally so obsessed with motor cars. Like a nice little callback to the uh, the movie, of course, the 83 movie now. So you know, the boop boop and that sort of stuff, really. Still great, still funny, a nice little funny, a funny ending, so it's very, very nice. I do like the idea of the, the henchman weasel and Toad just, you know, trying to solve bits and pieces like, you know, like um, even the Toad trying to trick like, oh, I'll jump off and you handle the balloon and stuff like that. It is, fun. it's it's great. The, the chemistry, they're sort of like, the, that weird chemistry between them two, like of them uh, going off each other trying to to land a hot air balloon is interesting. And in doing so, they end up doing it horribly by landing in a big tree and the henchman's still in the tree afterwards when they it's alluded to in the ending. But it's great, it's fantastic. And then finally we've got Fighting Fit. Uh, this came from another compilation, I think I think more Summer Stories or something, uh, Thames Video compilation, the same with the tournament. Uh, not, not included on the same VHS, like a different one, of course. They, this is what, the Thames, what Thames Video used to do was, um, back in the 80s, they would um, include a different um, um, episode of Wind and Wills, of course, you know, viably, viably on a standalone uh, VHS, well, on a standalone VHS with, with uh, Cam Duckler, Danger Mouse, or you know, early suggestor or something like that. And yeah, I would have to say it's good. It's funny. The whole era, the whole thing of Toad training in his in his house in his man in his hole really, of course, is very good. The animation is wonderful. Nice bit of animation when he's doing the um, I would have gone like, the the ropes. I don't know what you call that sort of thing what Jim Nass do, but he was you know basically doing that. You know, messing with his medicine ball and everything else. That is, it's it's hilarious, of course. You know, just him trying to get, you know, a punching a punching bag, and it ends up flying back in his face. Brilliant! It's wonderfully directed. Animation's fantastic. You know, um, the whole route. I think what well, and the whole thing with um, him not replying to, you know, it's, you know, to the messages, of course, from the others, Matty Badger and Mole. You know, is quite. You know, there shows a bit of that sort of like selfishness, mean spiritedness of the character of Toad. And yes, but overall, it's a good selection, of course. Well, I mean, with fun and games, because you have like to you have more cycles, snooker or billiards, a, a tournament, a medieval tournament, um, hot air balloons, and just gymnastic, uh, uh, gymnastic fighting exercise equipment. Really, um, I don't know if there was any other ones that were sort of been, been potentially sort of considered, but I don't know if there if there was a planning thing. Will they just stick some other ones as well? I mean. I really don't know actually. I think they they saw it sort of suited it nicely. It did, of course, and yeah, really good. It's a fantastic VHS. It's one of the rarest VHSs I've owned in my collection because I mentioned before, it's hard to find it on, you know, on Amazon. It's coming unavailable. eBay, you don't really do it. They tend to do it maybe. Someone tends to put it on like eBay now and again, but it goes very quickly. It does because you know that's a that sucker sells out easily. But I've still got mine in the attic somewhere. Just. You know, it's still there. I've had it for years. I've had it for nearly, oh God, 20, nearly 23 years, most of my lifetime, really. I come to, I, I come to realise, you know, it probably might come with children's political favourites, you know, like, I probably got that and this one together, as two together, because, you know, they might have been released at the same time. Maybe. Or they might have gone, might have gone them late, maybe that later on, maybe children's political favourites first, I don't know. That's it, really, with fun and games really it's a fantastic it's a it's a fantastic vhs of a fantastic series one of my personal favorites you know that show is always it's always been in the back of my mind when it was you know it's always been a show that i've always loved for many years i've only come to really appreciate a lot more 
I mean heavily a lot more when um, Richard Haynes, who was a um, animator for Classical Fall back in the 2000s, you know, he started posting commentaries on um, on YouTube really, and doing it like in um, seasonal order from spring to winter. Really good stuff. Lovely guy. And also, just recently, I've joined a Facebook group, Cursia Baz Bantanai Free. You know, um, sounds very good. Um, yeah, the yeah the usual rogues, of course, the rogues of gallery, of course, of me, ba uh, Baz Banta, Retro Kids 2001, Richard Haynes, and Ben, uh, was it, was it Ben Banjo 87 as well, so we're, we're all on there, you know, just showcasing our love for it, of course. I might send a link down below to the Facebook page if you wish to join, if you wish to, if you want to see a bit more about the show, of course, just, you know, if you want to share your love and everything else and appreciation for the series, links down below. But other than that, that's it. I've been talking about fun and games, the Winter and the Willows, um, bumper special, and yes, nine seven old thing I've had for years. Hard to find, you know, very hard to come across these days. You know that one. It's an absolute gem, fantastic. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. As always, see you for the next video. Goodbye.